All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Tundra Space Center mod, which is being made by form user Damon VV. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game are these five beautiful new stock alike launch pads, which you can add into the world using Kerbal Constructs. And it's been a long time since we've had a look at anything to do with Kerbal Constructs, so I thought this might be a fun one for today. And yeah, they are fully functional, usable launch pads, which I have used the Vehicle Assembly Building to put a rocket onto each of them. And so let's jump right on into this ion-powered space probe to take a look at the smallest of the five, and by far the least complex, and one with the smallest size for rockets. In fact, all the other four I used ComSat, uh, the default ComSat satellites, to uh, use as my little targets for. Here I had to use an ion-powered space probe because even those ComSat satellites were too big for this tiny, tiny little launch pad. But nonetheless, it's still a very cool one and would be just awesome to have early on in the game when launching just small little suborbital rockets for science. But it is still quite cool despite being pretty simplistic. We do still have uh, this bit here for all the rocket exhaust to go that way safely. And we even got ourselves a little tower here, which, you know, is cool. Now, uh, the next of them is uh, this one right here, which is a lot more complicated. Still not built for large rockets. As you can see, not a whole lot of clearance on every side around the rocket there. So you're not going to be putting anything too big, but it is just beautifully made. I mean, look at all this. We've got a little tunnel down here, some really cool exhaust ports there, the protected fuel bits, and just all sorts of cool little details. It is a very awesome. I think it's honestly one of my favorite. Well, besides that one, which we'll get to in a moment. Now, uh, the next one we have here is uh, right here. Again, a very cool exhaust port. A very nice little launch pad. This one can most certainly fit a larger sized rocket on it, considering we've got pretty good clearance on all sides. I do also love the towers here. Very cool details. And just, you know, nice ramps. Great little off-site buildings here. The little, uh, well, ramps more of there. And the fuel tanks, etc. Just another cool launch site. Now the next one is this one here. Pretty similar to that one there. In fact, almost identical. But a few little details like that building here. And the fact that there's not really the little ramps along the sides. But other than that, they're... They're pretty identical to the two, but still another fun little launch site. A little bit more restrictive with uh, the nearby bits and bobs, but still very cool. And finally, the big boy. The largest of the five rocket launch pads, which is just gorgeous. I love just all the angles for the venting to go. I love whatever this is supposed to be right here. It's just very cool looking. We've got the nice ramp going down. You've got the tower here. Very, well, water tower. All very, very cool. And again, I like the towers. This one with three for you to uh, fly through a little bit of wiring there, which I don't know if how well you'll see that on YouTube, but uh, very very interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. And if you've never worked with Kerbal Constructs before, they're very easy to place in the world. All you have to do is hit Control K to bring up the Kerbal Constructs menu, and we can either edit our existing ones that we have right here, or we can spawn new ones, and you'll find them pretty far down on the list, at least with how I have it. And here they are, launch pad 19, 39, 40, 41, and 46. And all you simply need to do is click it, and it'll pop into the world, and you move it to where you want it. Now, if you just did this and hit save, or save and close, this will just purely be an aesthetic, fancy-looking building. To actually make it a launch site, 
Well, you have to click this right here to actually make it a launch site. And you can actually choose its name, and this will be the name that will show up in the uh, vehicle assembly building for you to select from when you're building your rocket. And from either the uh, vehicle assembly building or space plane hangar, you can select any of these, which is cool. Well, of course, you could also restrict it to either or. And yeah, just pop it into the world, save it as a launch site, and you're good to go. You have another glorious launch pad, and it's as simple as that. Let's just uh, jump real quick, though, in to... Oh, yeah, I'm, I actually need to go back to the Space Center view. We'll jump into the Vehicle Assembly Building real quick, just to show you that they are, in fact, showing up on there just fine. But for anyone who has used Kerbal Constructs before, ah, you know it's good. But for anyone who hasn't, you just need to have a rocket of some form. And then in the list, as you can see here, we have all of them listed. And you just need to select one and then the launch but I've already got a thing there so it won't work but yes that is the Tundra Space Center mod a very cool little pack of five just absolutely gorgeous launch pads and I accidentally clicked the launch pad and not the probe so we went into the space plane hangar oh boy but yes let's actually select the thing properly there perfect and yeah, it's just a nice little selection of them. And of course, you can put them all over the place wherever you so desire. Oh god, that one I put up there kind of high. Oh well, not my problem. But yes, they're just very cool. Great little alternative sites for you to launch from. Or of course, even build your own space center out somewhere if you so desire. But yeah, if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, and I would certainly recommend that you go and do that, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.